And we are coming off a record setting week for new coronavirus cases in the bluegrass state. 44 News reporter Tyler Druin explains some new restrictions for communities that are now considered hot spots for the spread. Well, Brian and Jessica, these are recommendations handed down by the governor's office, not mandates, but he's asking Kentucky counties to follow these recommendations for at least seven days if their county is in the red zone. Are calling on stores and retailers in red zones to start limiting the number of customers inside their businesses. We have a duty as a community when things are out of hand to get them back under control. Those recommendations call for non critical county or state government offices to operate virtually. But fatigue and, 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 and I guess a cultural war that's somehow sprang up around what keeps you alive and keeps people around you alive. Uh, have, have led to less compliance as the summer ended. Governor Bashir asking families to not leave their homes, even during the holidays, urging elderly people and those at high risk not to attend family holiday gatherings. As of today, we have 858 Kentuckians currently hospitalized for COVID-19. 253 Kentuckians battling for their life in an ICU. The state health commissioner's office telling families to stay home and avoid relatives and friends for at least seven days when their community falls in the red zone. It was game time a while ago, but it's now a critical point where you as a part of Team Kentucky are needed more than ever. Back here live tonight, Brian and Jessica tonight at six right here on CBS 44. We hear from one West Kentucky mayor who says he and his city has been following the state's guidelines. We'll have reaction to the governor's recommendations. That's tonight at six. For now, reporting live here in Henderson, Tyler Druin, 44 News.